I'm going to work on the fake position called mount. <laughs> um, so holding the mount, if you're just sitting up on somebody, doesn't work so well. Right? So if I'm pinning and, and I'm just, even if I'm working like a tabletop, so I've got balance, I just don't have that much control of him. And so when he goes to move and escape, he gets a lot of results when I'm struggling. So looking at some other tools, like a lot of us know the grapevine, where we'll, we'll hook with one or both feet and we're driving down. This can help buy a little bit of time and apply more pressure in the mount. The trade-off is that you're giving up your mobility. So if I'm here for a moment, this is okay to lock things down. And if, I, if you don't know how to do this, the idea is I'm hooking with my foot on the back of his leg to help apply leverage down through my hips into his body. So if I'm losing the mount, this can be a really useful thing. If he's starting to get ahead of me, I'll hook and use that grapevine, and I'm driving down with this hip to bring his body back down, and I'm taking his leg away, especially on the other side, to limit his mobility. But then I want to move on from there. So the next thing we're going to look at, positionally, is something I like to play a lot right now, which is like a butterfly mount, where I'm hooked in like this. And so I've got both feet hooked just like my butterfly guard, and I'm over the top. So this is a little bit more mobile, but it can also be pressured. And one thing that we're usually, I usually am missing when I'm in the mount, is I'm forgetting to apply my weight. And so now he can move, but he has to deal with my weight. And I want him to have to deal with my weight all the time, unless I'm choosing to give space. So the butterfly mount is a nice combination. I can apply that pressure, and I still have mobility at my disposal. I'm not attached to him. So moving between those positions of I've got tabletop mount, got my grapevine, I've got my butterfly mount, and using that pressure to help control the person on the bottom will just make our mount a lot more useful than if we're just sitting there and holding onto their head or something like that and just trying to squeeze and pull. So, where we want to go from here, truthfully, most of the time, I want to go to his back or techno. Um, and so I'm looking for chances to bring his arm across his body. So as he's working on me, I'm also working on his arm. So once I've got that across, again, I'm applying pressure. So I'm using my grapevine. You can't see it, it's on the back of him, but I'm using my grapevine to help press down and keep this arm trapped. If I'm just here, he takes that arm back and he takes his posture back whenever he wants. So here, pressure, and now I can think of gift wrap and moving into tech mount um, and proceeding to attack from there. When I want to actually attack from mount, so look at just a couple submissions, a lot of it is based on being able to move up on him. If I'm down here by his hips, it's difficult. I can threaten some chokes, but he's got a whole lot of leverage with his hips. So off these same kind of setups, when I'm attacking his arm, I can look for a chance to slide up. Now, if he, just, if he does get his posture back to the ground, like his shoulders back to the ground, I don't get tech mount, I'm still in an attack position from here. So I can think of controlling that elbow, controlling the shoulder, and I'll sit out, S mount style, slide this one over, and I can drop back and go for arm bars from here. A lot of it is based off of if he's good and knows how to defend in the mount, this can be a really difficult position to attack. He's going to give me a lot of resistance with that frame, and I'm going to have a hard time. And going for the choke is quite difficult to land on that moving target. Doable, difficult. So using the hips for pressure, using the butterfly mount for pressure, and then allowing them some movement so you can progress to where you want. Like the gift wrap, sit up and take the back from here and go to all of the back tags. 